Check out some of our other video cassettes, such as How to Install Windows 98, Second Edition. Windows 98 boot disk. Without this boot disk, Windows 98 will not be able to install on your Windows 98 compatible machine. Why? Most Windows 98 computers cannot boot from the compact disk drive by default. This Windows 98 boot disk allows you, your computer to recognize and boot from the Windows 98 installation disk in the compact disk. The World Wide Web. How to access the world's information highways. I recommend using this ISA modem card. It's very simple and is sometimes even faster than most tabletop modems. Now, a Daiwat modem uses the same lines as your telephone. So, if you don't have a, if you don't have multiple telephone lines, make sure to not have anybody use or pick up the phone while connected to the internet. And Universal Serial Bus, the technology of tomorrow. If the cables like parallel or serial, every single peripheral or device that wants to connect through cable can easily use USB. Universal Serial Bus or USB has a A connector. Check out your local Blockbuster video or video store for more Wyatt Technology content. Now for your featured program, Mark D, the African American who defined the personal computer. The personal computer. The World Wide Web. And the latest video games. All technologies we take for granted today. But without a man named Mark Edward Dean, most of these things, and even more today, will be completely impossible. Today, the story about how one man revolutionized and basically co-created the modern day personal computer. On March 2nd, 1957, in the town of Jefferson City, Tennessee, Mark Dean was born. He was the child of James Dean and Barbara Dean. Growing up, Mark became fascinated with building things. He watched as his father built a car and even helped his father build a tractor. Jefferson City, Mark's hometown, was a town with mostly white people. At first, Mark went to a segregated black school ran by his grandfather. He quickly rose ahead and thought that school was just too easy. It wasn't until third grade, many years after the Brown vs. Board of Education Supreme Court case ruling that schools must be desegregated, Jefferson City finally desegregated their public schools. Finally, Mark was able to go to Jefferson City Public School. Mostly throughout school, he was the only African American student. Dean questioned if he was really black due to how much he was smarter than all the white kids at his school. Mark's parents pushed him to be on the school's integrated sports team. Even though it was hard at times, Dean's parents, and especially his grandfather, encouraged him to play on and hoped that society could eventually break away from old beliefs and be more equal to all people, regardless of race. At the end of junior high, most students at Mark's school accepted him for who he was. In high school, Mark became fascinated with the potential of the computer. Mark soon wanted to become an electrical engineer. After long years of education, 
Mark graduated from the University of Tennessee in 1979 with a degree in electrical engineering. Shortly after graduating, Mark got interviews for many jobs. One company which he interviewed with was Hewlett Packard, or HP. Even though the job was nice, Mark wanted to work with computers which HP did not yet manufacture. Mark ended up getting a job at the International Business Machines, or IBM. There, he first worked on a word processor adapter for a computer terminal. But as the personal computer became more popular, Mark led a team of engineers to make a cheap but reliable personal computer. This sparked the IBM PC and all of its clones and compatibles. Mark soon also developed a color graphics adapter to make the monochrome IBM PC finally be able to display a color picture. Dean also created ISA in 1982 to connect peripheral and plug-and-play devices. By the end of the 80s, Mark had already had a huge impact on the computing world. The 90s marked a new decade for in 1992, with the help of IBM, Mark changed his master's degree into a PhD after graduating at Stanford University. After graduating at Stanford University, Mark Dean became the head of the Austin Research Lab. With the help of Mark Dean, IBM made a huge breakthrough. No matter how fast you overclocked a processor, it could only go into hundreds of megabytes of processing power. Most thought anything above that was completely impossible. But Mark proved everyone wrong when he and his team created the first 1 gigahertz processor. Soon after, Mark Dean was promoted to vice president of IBM Watson Research Center and later IBM Storage and Technology Group. Mark Dean was named IBM Fellow. An IBM Fellow Award is the highest honor for an IBM employee. Mark Dean was the first African-American to be awarded the IBM Fellow Award. Many of Mark's technologies are even still used today. For example, this modem card. This modem card used to connect to the World Wide Web uses ISA card technology used in this computer. Also, this diskette drive and this compact disk drive connect to this computer using ISA to read any optical or diskette media. So, Windows 98 will be able to read. Also, this CPU as well as this Pentium 3 processor uses the 1 gigahertz processor technology made by Mark Dean when he was at IBM. And for PS2, this keyboard as well as this mouse connects to this computer using PS2, as well as any keyboard or any mouse, regardless of any computer manufacturer. It is guaranteed that any mouse or any keyboard will connect to any computer. For example, this is an HP keyboard, and this is an HP mouse. Both of these can connect to this Gateway 2000 computer. Mark, without a doubt, had a huge effect on the development of the modern-day personal computer. Most of Mark's technologies are still even used today. But in the age of tomorrow, one can only wonder, how would Mark affect the future of the person?
it's not the 90s anymore. It's the 20s. And even though things like PS2, floppy diskettes, and CDs are completely outdated, many technologies, even today, are still based off of Mark Steen technologies made all the way back when you worked at IBM. For example, this PCIe card, sure, it's not ISA, but PCIe uses the same basic technologies and the same basic principles that ISA were built on. And ISA, if it weren't for ISA, PCIe cards would not exist. This is a graphics card, so next time you're on Crisis or Doom Eternal or whatever, think Mark Dean. And computer processors are almost triple or double the speeds that they were all the way back when Mark Dean made the one gigahertz processor. Now processors can be three gigahertz. And with overclocking, possibly even a little bit more. And for Mark, he retired at IBM and now officially is a professor at Tennessee University as an electrical engineer. And Mark Dean lives happily with his wife. So, no matter if you're in the age of yesterday or in the age of tomorrow, Mark Dean has to be one of the most influential African-American inventors of his generation. Even though Mark Dean may not be as popular as Bill Gates, his inventions will continue to be improved upon and used for generations and generations to come. That's all for now, my friends. See you next time on Wise Technology Corner. Cut. Hello there, I'm Wyatt Berryhill, the host of Wise Tech Corner, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. Watch as his father built a car, and even helped his father build a truck. I mean, truck. By the age of tomorrow, Mark Dean has to be one of the most influential. <laughs> no, uh, or in the age of tomorrow. Mark Dean has to be one of the most influential African-American inventors of his generation. Mark Dean may not be as popular as Bill Gates, but his inventions will continue to be improved upon and used for generations and generations to come. That's all for now. That's all for now, my friends. See you next time in Wise Technology Corner. Regardless of any computer manufacturer, it is guaranteed that any mouse or any keyboard will connect to any computer. For example, this is an HP mouse, and this is an HP. Mark's parents pushed him to be on the integrated sports team. No, at the school's integrated sports team. Mark's parents pushed, wait, okay. Mark's parents, wait. Mark's parents pushed him to be on his, Mark's parents pushed him to be on his school's integrated sports team.